Our next speaker is Suchitra Ramachandran, and her title for the three-minute thesis, The Brain as a Statistician. When we were infants learning our first languages, we did not learn it because someone sat us down and taught us the rules of grammar. No, we learned it implicitly, almost by osmosis, simply because we were surrounded by people who spoke that language. Indeed, studies show that when infants hear speech, all they hear is a sequence of sounds, but over time they're able to tell that certain sounds go together more often than others, and so they are able to parse those out as words. This implies that we have an innate mechanism that allows us to discover structure and patterns and regularities in the environment around us, and we are able to do this in an implicit, unsupervised manner. This form of learning is called statistical learning, and it's something your eight months, eight month olds can do, and it's something that distinguishes our intelligence from that of machines. What are the brain mechanisms underlying this? What algorithms does our brain use to do this? These are the kinds of questions that I'm trying to explore for my thesis. And I'm studying this in monkeys. Why monkeys? Because monkeys are very closely related to us evolutionarily. They're a lot like us. And statistical learning has been observed in monkeys. And most importantly, we can monitor the activities of single cells called neurons in a monkey's brain while it is awake and engaged with the world around it. Monkeys are highly visual creatures. So we decided to subject our monkeys to an artificial visual environment consisting of statistically regular events. For an entire month, day after day after day, we had our monkeys sit in a chair, face a screen, where images would come on one at a time. But a note of the monkey, the order in which the images were displayed had a certain regularity inbuilt into them. For example, whenever the monkey saw the image of the Starbucks mermaid, it was always followed by the image of the coffee cup. Remember that these images meant nothing to the monkey. They were just visual stimuli, no behavioral relevance whatsoever. At the end of training, we wanted to ask whether single neurons in a part of the brain that processes such visual images could tell the difference between events that conform to the regularities imposed during training and events which violated the regularities imposed during training. We observed something very interesting. Whenever the monkey saw something that was statistically likely, something that conformed to the regularities imposed during training, we found that the activity of the neurons were suppressed. But when the monkey saw the same image in a context where it was statistically unlikely, for example, the Volkswagen symbol followed by the coffee cup, a visual event that the monkey had never seen during training, we found that the activity of the same neurons for the same image were enhanced. What does this mean? We speculate that through passive learning and statistical, passive experience and statistical learning, our sensory systems are capable of forming mental models of the world around us. And when events in the world conform to the model, the, the model that we have, then those represent something that's predictable, something that we already know, so they are represented less strongly. But when something surprising happens, like a tiger walking in through the room, that is something exciting, that is something informative potentially, although statistically unlikely, so they may be represented more, more strongly. What is the nature of these internal representations? How are they acquired and maintained over a lifetime? And are they common across all sensory domains? These are highly interesting questions, and I'm trying to answer them. Thank you.